We're back with Today Food, and we're cooking up a special two-course summer dinner with our friend Bobby Flay. We will start with the appetizer, but first, we should mention Bobby's hit show, Food Network Star, returns for a new season on Sunday. Bobby, good morning. Excited about the new season? Yes, very much so. Nine o'clock on Food Network. Can't wait. Thirteenth oh. season. Okay. Yeah. Johnny Cakes, yes. which I like to call Bobby Cakes. Yeah. Well, okay. I like that. Yes. What do they? What What are they for those who don't well, know? Well, they're really cornmeal pancakes. So we have things like yellow cornmeal, obviously some flour and some baking powder. I'm actually going to put some Fresno chili on top and we're gonna use some tomatoes I like the idea of actually kind of forcing summer in mm -hmm. now uh, I think when I think of summer ingredients I think of corn and tomatoes first the corn's not quite great yet so why not use something like a ground cornmeal to kind of get that flavor in and also if you're gonna use tomatoes in June the first day of June yeah go 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 with a small tomato we'll talk about those later okay, okay? so let's start we're gonna make by the corn we're gonna make the cornmeal pancakes first. so Our you want to start with the dry ingredients yeah so we have cornmeal flour baking powder and baking soda and a little okay. bit of salt Got it. And then I have an egg here with some egg whites. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this together, and then we're gonna take the we're gonna take the wet and then and then fold it into the dry. Okay, some oh. milk and then the uh, the egg and the egg whites. Wet. Fold, so, wait, fold so, in. Fold Show in. us so your gonna, folding technique. So you're gonna go like you're gonna take your spatula. Yeah. Now, as I start as, as I slowly start to. to how's my folding? Pretty good, but you want to be a little bit more aggressive. Just okay. kind of like that. Just kind of fold it, uh, fold it around. <laughs> That's like what this. Matt's always saying to me. Be more aggressive. <laughs> be more aggressive, exactly, Savannah. All right, so we're okay. gonna let that go for a fold. while. And then we have our Johnny cakes. And the thing about these Johnny cakes is they don't need to be perfect. Okay, in terms of shape. You know, if you if you look at some of the ones I've made here, I mean, some of them are circular, some of them are. Mm -hmm. Some of them have shapes that actually don't have a name. It doesn't matter. Um, we're just going to put the Johnny Cakes in here, and we're going to let them cook. I like to use a cast iron pan because you get this really beautiful crust on the outside. Yeah, but once you got a little oil at the bottom. Exactly. So okay. we're going to turn these over. Yeah. Oh, perfect. And is there that's anything different about this type of pancake, or is this like cooking any pancake? No, that it's we not know? like cooking any pancake. The thing about the cornmeal is it really gives it a really nice crust and a little bit of crunch while, while you're cooking them. Mm -hmm. You can serve you can serve these savory like, like, like we're going to do today, uh -huh. or, or for breakfast as well, like maple syrup, butter, some fruits if you'd like. Can I just check in with Team Pancake over yeah. here? Uh, Coda, go for yeah. it. It's like if a pancake and cornbread made it. Yes, oh, that's exactly what it is. My grandmother used to make this. What's, the, what's that? My grandma. Really? Yeah, oh, delicious. Oh, yeah. Delicious, yeah. Bobby. Okay. okay. It's all the ingredients that you'll have in your pantry. So we're going to top these very quickly with uh, a little bit of tomatoes with some shallots. Mm -hmm. And you can see, Savannah, I'm using the smaller tomatoes. They tend to be sweeter, especially in the sort of off season. Yeah, we're, okay? we're not quite into tomato not time quite. yet. So, so, so um, some fresh basil, mm -hmm. some fresh tomatoes, some uh, shallots, and a little bit of lemon juice to kind mm -hmm. of bring out the flavor. Mm -hmm. You want to season that with some salt and pepper? Sure. Okay, there you go. Nice. All right, and then a little, bit of, a little bit of olive oil, and let's stir that up if you if, you, okay. if you'd like. Yeah. And then pork chop. Well, the pork <laughs> chop is for later, but thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna take a little bit of ricotta cheese, mm -hmm. and ricotta cheese. I feel like ricotta you cheese. You sound is like Giada. Ricotta cheese. No, I don't say it like that. Okay. Ricotta cheese. And, and so, you know, I feel like ricotta cheese has sort of made a comeback. You see it in a lot of restaurants now, especially on the table. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to put some ricotta cheese yeah. on top of the uh, pancakes nice. and then our beautiful tomato relish that we uh, that we made ahead of time. That's gorgeous. And just kind of, it doesn't have to, again, don't make it perfect. Just kind of let them go on there and cascade off yeah. the Johnny Cakes. So what do you think, Matt? I mean, it looks like it's light even though it's a pancake. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's really 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 good. Good. Nice and fresh, breeze into this. Gives you that sort of summer feeling. But yeah. do explain the pork chop. Is that on, on dot com? Can the pork chop is this? actually... We're gonna make that later, As a little bit later. Explaining that, hand that over. Yeah. Okay, here you go. <laughs> do that. A little bit of pepper, pepper and onions. Yeah. So oh, that's not pork chop. Oh yeah, this is part one. You're gonna show us that yes, part exactly. later. Yes, exactly. This is the preview. appetizer, and that's gonna be the entree a little bit later. When are you gonna show them? At ten? At the, yeah, ten. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, you yeah, you were ten with that. Exactly. All right. Stay so tuned for the. So don't fill up. All right, you got it. Come for the Johnny cake, stay for the pork chop. Bobby, thank you so Thanks, much. Bobby. If you want these recipes, go to today.com slash food. And of course, as we mentioned, appetizer, got to have an entree. Bobby's going to be back with Kathy Lee and Hoda, and they will tell you how to make those chops. Absolutely. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.